The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Wednesday, October the 6th, and we're looking at the Dow down 458 at 33,856 at the low of the day as we speak. Not good action. It got repelled by the pink nine period exponential moving average. Didn't even get like yesterday to the 14 at 34,329. Today's high is 34,203. We are now at 33,863. Very poor action. That weekly chart is starting to look uh, more and more vulnerable to downside action. We're looking at the S&P. S&P at this particular moment is down at the low of the day, down 53 at 42.92.72. The low of today's Wednesday, low of Monday was 42.78.98. Uh, if we take that out, that'll be a leg D to the downside. And look at that weekly chart. This is now the third week that we've gone under the 14 period moving average. I can't talk about Friday at 4 o'clock, but yet last week it closed under the 14-period moving average. Now it is under the up channel. Uh, this is the weekly up channel support level. Whew, not good at all. And uh, we're looking at very strong resistance in the 4330 uh, to 4340s. We're looking at the QQQ NDX 100. Uh, trading at 353.86, trying to find some support here at minus 355. At 353.87, now it's uh, just trying to rally off the low. Uh, that weekly chart is not good at all. And uh, all I can say is that this coming Friday, that's in another two and a half days' time, when we close, and those weekly charts are going to tell us a tremendous amount of information about October. But we're also looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, not finding support at all. It's down three and a quarter at 217.84, stuck in the range in the weekly chart in this rectangle between 234 and 208. And here it is at 217 in the lower part of the range. Ooh. It's a problem if you're not finding any support. Look at the SMH as a semiconductor index. It's down almost three at 250.47. If it takes out 248.78 support, it goes to a leg D on the downside of this big arch formation. I suspect we're really close to at least some kind of attempt. In fact, my Chapman Wave uh, trend gauge reading, this is the short, this is Richard Arms uh, index. <clears throat> I just use it on the numbers themselves had a very high reading, and that suggests that within uh, two sessions, there should be a sharp 15 or more point uh, rally. 9 to 11 point rally could be even more, but it could come from lower down. And just says, be careful. At any point, you could get a sudden rally, and it could be a surprise, and it could be a little stronger than one would normally anticipate. Now, this is going to be very important. Let me skip, um, let me skip straight to the TLT. The TLT, this is the Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund. You see this monthly chart? Now, I love drawing trend lines. But if you look at this trend line, this declining trend line, just moving sideways alone is going to take you out of that trend line to the upside. So I use trend lines just as a guide, as something to say, keep an eye on it, because um, the way you close either above or below a particular trend line is really important. But the trend line itself is just merely a, just a little icon that you keep your eye on. It's what happens after that. So as far as the TLT, the yields are concerned, if you're looking at the TNX.X, this is the 10-year treasury, uh, treasury, 10-year treasury note, not the bonds, this is the note, and it's the yield. I, it's pulled back a little bit. It's 15.15. 15, 15, it's 1.515 percent. Uh, and it also has a little mini trend line that it's just trying to break out of on the daily basis. It did go above it, but now it's below it. And if you're looking at this, it's got a chapter wave falling exclamation. I'm going to be watching this really closely all week because if the TLT pulls back further, and normally what happens is that in, in a market like this, you would find that when money comes out, especially of the leadership 
stocks. And it, it, it tends to go at, for a period into the safety of bonds. We haven't seen that. In fact, the bonds have gone down. That's to say this selling. So what happens here is going to be really important. Why? Because if it's this week, that's one thing. But if it's next week, we start leg C to the upside in the weekly chart of the TL, the 10-year Treasury note, yield, and above 15.67. If it happens this week, it actually extends leg B. And all of a sudden, you've got this trend line. Let me just put this in here to show you some of the techniques that I love to use. This is the Chapman Wave inside track repellent propellant zone. In this particular case, it was a repellent zone for a moment, and then it became a propellant zone as the price went above, and now it's holding above this line. This is what we were looking at in the week, in the monthly chart of whatever it was we were looking at. Oh, the T TLT uh, a moment ago. But this is a little different because this is the yields, this is the weekly chart, and it's really important. Why? Because as yields go up, as crude oil has been going up, this is creating, you know, I always talk about this. Let me go there right now. I always talk about the dark news cloud cover. This is a, something, an invention that I came up with years ago where I talk about and I drew this in. All these rectangles is where the Dow I'm using the Dow as, as a proxy for really the general market, but I'm using the Dow where we, we saw um, this dark news cloud cover, which would form a pullback and then an arch formation or immediately an arch formation. And most of the time it held the support on the left side, even if it broke a momentarily and then it ran up. Look at all of these have the same pattern, H pattern breaks to the to the right side and then starts a really big move in the up channel to the to the to the resistance level. Now, all of a sudden. You've got a tremendous amount of resistance. We've got a continuous, in fact, from the from the August, the week of the, the 13th, from that all-time high of 35,610, we're looking at the Dow having yet another, a second, I, I, this is very unusual, to see it fail and then create a second dark news cloud cover pattern. And all I can say is, the key support of that low that was made a couple of weeks ago at 30, oh, here it is, at 33,613, a close below that, especially a weekly close, but even a daily close below that says, uh oh, now you start to make concerted efforts in the rectangle formation where each rectangle forms a lower base. In other words, a stair step move to the downside. And that makes the next week going from today to next Wednesday, really important because if there is a rally and a close above 30, let's call it 34,550, that would say, aha, now all that's happening is that we're in the rectangle formation, we're trying to go sideways, um, we're finding some support, it's not breaking out to the upside, but at least it's a holding pattern. All right, got that out the way, let's just go back here, we want to look at gold, this is now moving to the upside. Gold is trading. Uh, we, oh, I hit the wrong thing. Well, I'll tell you right now that as we're going to the break, and there are a lot of questions that have come in, and I'll try to get to them as well as something I want to read that the New York Times is posting. Dow's down, the, the gold is down three, and we're looking at the, the, the dollar. The dollar is trying to move to the upside shop. It's still up 29 tick. I'll talk about it when we reach. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TESS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So putting a little package together, the XLF, which is the SP Slick Financial Spider Fund, trading at 37.97, just missed making a new recovery high uh, in the 39 area a couple of uh, about a week or so ago, and that high that was made back in late August uh, was a peak D. And the we were always looking at peak Ds as, as a potential for a turnaround, and that was an E. If I want to be very strict about it, E slash B in the weekly chart, if the S and B s and Select Financial Spider Fund really starts to take a dive, and, and this is regardless of yields, if it starts to plunge and it goes below, is it 37.94, it really goes into the 36s and holds there, making this arch formation. That is where I suspect that we might see the proof of the pudding to see whether or not gold is able to take the lead. My suspicion is it's not there. And I've been talking about this for months and months. It's kind of getting an uh, old hat. Therefore, I've got to be ready for a surprise is that the Bitcoin has taken over as the place to be for traders. And that's really so gold is not seeing the, the fear factor moving up with the GDX showing the miners, because look, the miners, and this is right, way at the bottom, it is really struggling here, the GDX, the market vectors, gold miners, ETF. So I suspect that it's when the international community starts to say, uh-oh, this is serious. The uh, administ US administration has kind of lost uh, their grip on holding things together. We're looking at crude oil, sky uh, crude oil, crude oil skyrocketing we're looking at rates starting to move way above uh what was expected i still don't think it's uh, overly done because uh, when you look at the tnx tnx here we go if you look at the tnx there's a lot of room to go to say in the weekly chart um what could happen because look what happened when it hit back in was that january i think it was no april april the week of the second of april um, of this year when it went to 17.65, 1.765%. Um, that was, in fact, that turned around to be uh, the, the, the March low, very close to the March low um, in the general market. So we, we have been there before, but the market was tanking as the yields went higher. So we've got to keep in mind what's going on. There's a lot of distance between 15.10 and the 17s. Uh, so there's 
there's room. And this says to me, in this particular October period, actually started in August or September, depending on which indexes you've been following. We've been talking about this for quite some time. There's just been a general decline in the, in the markets, still only 5 to 8 percent. In the, It depends on which area you're looking at. But it does say this is the first time that you're seeing the leadership role, and that really is important, and that's in the QQQ. You're seeing the leadership role as a failure pattern at this particular time with the doji top at 382.78 in the QQQ Invesco Trust Series. Now, what's really important, I'm trying to put the package together. It's, it's, a, it's quite complex, so uh, there's no real simple solution. Actually, there is a simple solution if you say, if the VIX index, let's just make it as simple as possible, starts to trade and hold on a weekly basis in the 20s, that's putting vulnerability into the market. When it starts to trade in the 25 to 26 area, that's putting even more. And if it suddenly spirals into the 29 to 31 or higher area, you're looking for at least a short-term top uh, occurring. And that would still say that you've got to treat each thing separately. How the market responds if that, if that occurs, you have to get that huge spike to the upside. And within a day or two, you've got to get the big pullback. If the VIX keeps holding and just steadily on a Friday starts to close above 20, I'd like to say 21, let's say 20.50, that's where you've got to be real careful. We haven't got there yet. So that, that, now, on an intraday basis, let me just show you something that I was expecting. So we've had from the low that was made in the, in the two-minute chart at, at 5.42 Eastern Time, uh, there was a peak A, B, C, D. What we look for in the Chapman Wave methodology are always Ds. That fourth highest peak is where other things can happen. It could sharply pull back. It could recycle to the upside. But D is where you've got to be careful. So what happened? You got two-minute chart peak D, right? The little doji candle at 6, 6 uh, 20. Pulls back, pulls back, and then it starts a new buy mode. It goes peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And where is that? Underneath the 200-period moving average, with a high of 42.88.50 on 7.34 in the morning, pulls back, and then it starts another move. It goes peak A, peak B, alternate count, F slash B, pulls back sharply. No, no, no. It goes higher above the 200 period moving average. It goes to a D, and it even goes to an E, and then pulls back and uses the 200 period moving average as wonderful support. And then what happens? You get another A, B, C, D with a doji candle right there at 9.38 this morning. And then it plunges, and it plunges right down to the 4, 42, uh, 79 level, 79.50 at 10.08, just as I was doing my show. And now started a brand new peak A. And, and that's what I'm anticipating. I said, I said to subscribers this morning, I want you to buy the diamonds again. We, we, we're constantly buying the diamonds, taking profits as we get stopped out, going back in. Uh, and we try to do that today again. Overnight, we got stopped out for, for a nice gain. It was a much bigger gain at the end of the day yesterday because we bought the low yesterday in the Dow Diamonds. And we just got stopped out today. And lo and behold, um, the Dow is now only down 250. Look at that nice move up. Uh, so the anticipation was that before 1010, we had to buy it at a certain level. We, it got away from us. It went soaring higher. Then all of a sudden, you got this major pullback, and it was just a little deeper than I was anticipating. And now it's moving quite nicely to the upside because this is an area, and that's the reason, only reason I did it, because this is an area where you can expect the rectangle choppy pattern to try to form some kind of a base. It's just a trade. I wouldn't treat this as a as a, as as a major move to the upside. Uh, I N D U. Let's see where we are. Uh, look, a, a nice little candle so far. It isn't at the high of the session yet, but it is trying to turn. But this congestion phase says arch formation can go. Chapman wave methodology can go from a dreaded H pattern, this is a successful one, because it didn't take out the left side low, not yet. And now you can get a lowercase h that has another little arch formation that makes a lowercase m. And that's the pattern that I was anticipating, at least for the moment. Uh, got a couple of things. Oh, a lot of questions <laughs> keep coming in, and I keep talking. Well, I think I've forgotten something very important. Um, oh. That's right. I'll do this really quickly here because some people have said, could you please show that it's a great chart? And we, 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 we like to see that. 
I, I wouldn't do it often, but I'll do it now. It's a black background chart. Sometimes black background charts are a little difficult to see. This has got the triple yield, uh, the 30-year, the 10-year, and the 5-year. It's got wood, the iShares of the Timber and Forestry ETF, and it's got the HGX. And look at this. The triple yield made a new recovery high in the 30-year, right at the trend line resistance. This is the weekly chart of the TYX, the 30-year T-bond yield. That's in white. In brown, whatever color that is, that I uh, didn't even put that in. I should have. Well, I'll do it now. Uh, oh, we, we discussed this already in, in much greater detail. This is the trend line that we're looking at here. So there's the 30, but this is still only in. It has made a new recovery high, and neither is the five year. The book at the first ETF is vulnerable to breaking down. So it's a down. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. So a couple of things I, I sent to me, and I appreciate that, GT. Thank you for, for sending to me. Uh, the end of a gilded age. This is from the New York Times front page. And emboldened she remakes China's business world in his image, in the end of a gilded age, China is bringing business to heel. Ex executives sit in jail. Tech companies are being reined in. And the biggest developer is teetering. I think there are two developers, actually. It's the beginning of a new area for the China economy by Paul Moser. Um, this is really, a, this is quite something. Uh, I just see, 
And then Biden seeks $80 billion to beef up the IRS audits for high earners. All right, well, that's, that's something else completely. But the China thing, look, here's the FXI. It's trying to come off the low. <clears throat> it should have a, 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 it's ready for a bounce. Doesn't mean to say it has to, but it's ready for a bounce. The major monthly chart is in a sell mode. The, the weekly chart sell mode, the daily is in a sell mode, but it's ready for a little bit of a bounce. It doesn't have to, but if it does bounce, it's got tremendous 37.92 FXI, which is the uh, uh, China, uh, this is the iShares China large cap uh, ETF. Yeah, it could bounce. It could even bounce from 37.92 in the next week or two to the 39 area. I think it's still going to come back and test. I think that the, the vulnerability says that there's a chance that the 33.11 low of March of 2020, while that doesn't have to be a factor, it'll become a factor if there's a monthly close below 36.20. Let's go to 36, and it's the 37.92 right now. That's a monthly close. That means intramonthly could be a bunch, but I want to see it actually close there. And then I'm saying, uh-oh, this is an issue, and it's an issue that's going to impact us. There's no question about it. So that's that. Then I had a question. Uh, Basil, yesterday with Tom, you were talking about um, a particular stock that you got for subscribers. Um, in this environment, going along, anything is quite something. What was that? Oh, I wasn't going to. Well, all right, I'll talk about it. I, was, I wasn't going to, but here we go. Um, so PayX is the stock that we we're talking about. I wonder if I've still got Let me just see. Do I have that? Oh, I hope I have it. Nope. 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 Oh, I thought I, I thought I still had the chart from yesterday. No, it didn't. So it was right here. Right here. And I, I did my homework and I said, Chapman Wave Methodology, MACD, uh, this is a stock I've followed for years. I don't even have it on our watch list. I've just kind of followed it because, like Netflix, it's one of those stocks that seems to have something really... Uh, um, something intrinsically the market loves, but I've never really understood it. Now I do, <laughs> since we've been watching some Netflix uh, shows. Um, it can go on and on and on and on and on and on. on. It just doesn't stop. But um, so PayX seems to be the same thing. It, 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 the payrolls, business, um, insurance, benefits, all sorts of things that really affect and impact companies, I believe, very positive. Everything I've read is always very positive. So I love the fact there's a down channel. I love down channels. We got the down channel. And the MACD then turned up. The stochastic uh, turned up. It was holding. It had higher highs as it was coming to lower lows. That's usually a positive divergence. And a W formation forming in the uh, this is daily on balance volume, the blue line here. But more importantly, the nine-period moving average looked as if it was just about to cross positive and the all-time high was 118.62 back in August 18th. Remember, that's when the Dow made its high. And then it pulled back from 118 down to the 107 level. I mean, really, 106.55 with 106.61. It's what I call a Chapman Wave two-bar reversal, which I usually use on the upside. But in this case, it was the downside. In other words, it was a fractional, either higher, in this case, a higher low, and it, it occurred with good positives. So I said, let's go long uh, be, b below 113. I can't remember what it was. Uh, and we, we managed to go long yesterday at 113.29. And one of the reasons is that in this environment, you want stocks. Look at this. It gaps up. You know my two-bar rule. It's really a three-bar rule with, with gaps. And the way that it gapped up, and then it, it went to a higher high above the gap high, and it made a higher low. And that said to me, and it closed above the high. And that said to me, this is meeting all the criteria. If, in fact, we can get, a, um, and then the third day, it made even a higher high. It didn't close above the high, but it made a higher, a nice green candle. So I said, if we can get any kind of pullback under 130.50, I think I said, um, let's go long. 
and we'll get us we'll start a, 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 just a brand new position in this and we did at 113.29 so the reason why i mentioned it, tom was just to show some of the techniques i use it wasn't to show to show how wow wonderful uh, you know what a nice move show off a little bit no it was absolutely just to show that there was a potential for a cup formation there was a potential for a chance to try to get to the 118.62 level even though this market is uh, in horrible condition and fortunately, we've got that. And today, the stop held, and it's making a new recovery high. It's up 77 cents at 117.60. It's trying to tackle that. And then we've got a problem. What do you do after that? Because in this market, you could see really sharp pullbacks. So I've treated it just as I have with other things, treating it first as a trade. And then it can be a holding position if everything fits. I hope that explains it. The only reason why I was mentioning it was Look, there's a pattern that I took. I don't want to do that now. It's a bit of a waste of time. Oh, I'll do it quickly. So, Japan wave falling axe formation where prices go up, 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 and then they make lower highs and much lower lows. And all of a sudden, they find support. And what happens? It starts to move. And if it takes out the trend line, the trend line from the upper high to uh, where, where it is, as it turns around, if the price goes above it, you can get a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. So look what we've got. We've got this breaking out. We've already got more than a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. And it's within fractions of at least testing the target that we had of 118.62. PayX, Inc., uh, P-A-Y-X is a symbol, 117.47, up 64 cents. Well, I can say I love the chart, but this market can be devastating even to the best stocks. So we have to treat it right now <clears throat> just as a trade. <laughs> I hope that helps you, Dan. Okay, next thing that we've got is, um, I, I want you to do this quickly. Uh, someone asked, IYT, wh wh what's, the, what's the relationship in the old days where you used to always talk about Dow theory? We haven't heard about it that much. I'm just paraphrasing. I haven't got it in front of me now. It was last night. Uh, what... what um, What's the relationship? All I can say is that the relationship is that you love to see that in the old days, you wanted to see the transports moving stuff, moving stuff, moving stuff, because that was part of the economy. And if it was doing it successfully, then there was a really good chance that the, any Dow high that was commensurate with the um, transports, the IYT, iShares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund, uh, making new high, just confirmed it. That, all the years I used to say, uh oh, they've got a confirmation, be careful. Uh, in this case, you've got an absolute unconfirmation. There is a plunge going on in the transports. Jets was doing very nicely. That's the US Airlines, and now it's got a peak D. Remember at the fourth highest peak, peak D? Other things can happen. Well, we've just had a pullback from the 25s. We're at 2379 in the Jets, US Global Jets ETF. Trading at uh, JETS, 23.79 down 78 cents. I will be back, and we've still got many calls and uh, questions. Um, Newmont Mining again. I'll do all of that when we get back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, uh, folks, we're back. I had a question about Roku. Can I show the chart? Uh, and I, I typed this in a while back when it was stuck in that range and I said I need to see 70s as it was pulling back and it failed to do that so I can get out of this. I kind of forgot that I typed that in. Remove. So it's trading up 985 at 314.50. Roku, Inc. Streaming devices, ROKU is a symbol. A nice move up, but I just don't think you need to. And this is that rectangle formation. It's It's... Um, there it is. So I can see a bounce, but lower lows and lower highs every single week for weeks and weeks and weeks, basically. I, I just be careful here. That's all. Yeah, I could bounce, but treat it as a bounce. Treat it as a short-term trade. If you're in it at the 305 or so level and it's moving to 314.33 right now, just raise your stop. Let it tell you what's next because the MACD is okay. Stochastic's not good at 22% on balance from China rally. But the weight of evidence says that weekly chart uh, and the monthly chart, that was a peak E top. And that is something you've got to respect. So just be real careful as a trade. Yeah, maybe. Uh, next question I had. Well, oh, and that reminds me. Um, I didn't, um, I didn't, I haven't heard for a little while from Bob. Bob in Framingham. I hope you're well. Uh, I just haven't heard from you for quite a while. I got worried there. Uh, I hope things are good. Anyway, uh, just even if it's an email, I just want to know you're doing well. Uh, so Roku remind me because you've had some fantastic options trades on Roku. So I just thought I'd mention it. And Jack, Jack in Florida. I haven't heard from you for a little while. I hope you're well. That's if you're listening. Because if he's not listening, playing tennis right now out there in Florida, uh, which I played yesterday, which has turned into a beautiful day, though it didn't look like it would be. So crude oil, yes, I did crude oil. I'll do it again because this is very important. There's a sharp move down. You've had, this is the second red, big red candle that you've had in maybe 20 sessions or more, right? That, But it's in a leg F. And leg F is where, yep, it could be an alternate count. I see no need right now to give it an alternate count. The on-balance volume is just showing overbought level. It's a little bit of a dip. 88% in the stochastic is fantastic. The MACD is good. Uh, the weekly chart, D slash B, got an alternate count. The MACD just turned positive. I'm telling you now that this, this is, there's a chance that oil could pull back a little bit sharper. But the weight of evidence says, you know, I like to look at this as tides. The major tide is still on the upward move. We haven't hit high tide yet. It is on a short-term basis, a little bit of a wave that says, yep, we could that a little mini tide, a little shallow base says it could be pulling back here. But you have tremendous support in 75 to 73s. That's the support. Now, I suspect that if there is a pullback, that's kind of where we will stall, hold, 
and then try to spike higher. But I think starting to trade in the 80s might have to wait. I suspect we're going to the 80s. I would like very much not to get to the 80s in crude oil right now. This is a this is like a tax on, on everybody who drives, but actually on everybody who does anything because oil factors into so, so, so many things. So yes, this is not even a peak yet. I have to get a lower high than today's high of 79, 78. And then it says, all right, have a bit of a pullback. I can just tell you if there's even one trade above 8170 in the 8170 to 8220 area, you've broken new, this is, this is something different because it means that there is no control on the upside, even if they had to open the US spigots and say, we're gonna use our own uh, uh, um, inventory. But once you start to get into the 80s and you start trading, you've opened that whole area into 100. I, I know that Teddy's been calling for 100 for a, a long time. And I, I wasn't able to listen to him today, uh, but I believe Teddy Kaksak, and I believe he's 100% correct. This looks like the spigot is open. And uh, I don't know what's going to curtail this. Maybe a little mini recession. I don't know. But then you're going to have to also watch those yields. So uh, I hope I answered that. But oil, OIH, the, this is the oil, the carrot is the oil service is still stuck in a range, made a peak E. And that's why I was suspecting the other day that we're getting to some kind of a, at least a short term top in the oil service stocks. Uh, some of them, be, even an Exxon, this is the multinational. Look at this. Whoops, pops all the way to, where did it go? Here we go, here we go. XOM. XOM. Uh, yeah, went to a peak alternate count F slash B. There's a sharp pullback, uh, starting to digest gains. Uh, all I can say is that watch this sector very closely. The OIH, I did uh, OSX. Have I got that all notated? I used to, no, we don't have an OSX anymore. No, XOP. XOP, look at this. Went to a leg F, and now it's probably a peak F. But I still haven't got the turnaround in the MACD, and the stochastic's at 88%. This could have another spike to the upside. It could be F slash B. In fact, let me just do that, undo. Let me call it F slash B to be as uh, as as literate in the Chapman Wave methodology as possible, and it's a leg D in the monthly chart. So all of this is suggesting we should technically be getting to some kind of a top in oil. Huh, we're not really, not if you keep getting these uh, exogenous events like we had the past weekend with that oil spill. So all I can say is, yeah, this is a good time to own an EV. Yeah, my... Friends who have EVs, they all say, oh, yeah, this is great, this is great. Wait until the grid goes down. No, I'm just joking. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not joking because that's definitely going to happen, but that's not the issue why you wouldn't get an EV. Um, all right, so let's see. Question, question, question. Yeah, the Asian, Asian markets. Let me just show you something here. Hong Kong, uh, D-O-W. Uh, Hong Kong is going sideways it's broken down from the peak alternate count peak d in the monthly chart this is the hong kong index this is the dow jones hong kong index so that isn't the one that you see although the pattern is exactly the same it's just made up uh, with different uh, uh, stocks um that's that eem i spoke about yesterday eem you know what maybe i don't know if i'll have time i'll try my best if i can to do all the i the ews uh, I used to have them all done, even Australia, EWA. Um, look at this, trading in the lower range. This is the iShares, MSCI, Australia. I should do this Australia one and tell my brother what's going on. A, B, C, D, P, D. There we are, D in the monthly chart. I have to tell you, monthly charts at peak D, the Dow's at peak D. Just got to be real careful, but the, the S&P is only in a leg B. So I, I didn't get to all those questions. Let me forget that. They just Newmont Mining. Remember, we spoke about this yesterday. I said, just be careful. Once it breaks the left side in a rectangle uh, and H pattern, it breaks the left side low. You've got to watch it closely. So Newmont Mining is at 5336.47. So I go through all the gold stocks last night and early this morning. I'm saying, what is going on? I, I had uh, in my, my screamer list for a couple of days, I've had NG. Now, Nova Gold Resources 
has had a spectacular move. It's gone from the 650s to 728. This is Nova Gold Resources. What the heck? My suspicion is that people are trading this because everyone keeps talking about NG meaning natural gas. And that's why they're trading it. But wait a minute. Then uh, natural gas is pulling back here for the first time in a little while. Like F, we'll see what happens. I'll be back for the last segment of the show. We have a bunch of things that I want to show in that gold area. I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So I just wanted to mention this. So I, I run through these. These are the gold stocks that I'm kind of familiar with. AUY is uh, uh, Yamana Gold. It's actually trading up uh, 0.03 at 3.98. It's starting to form a nice little base. So risk reward, you say to yourself, well, I mean, gold, if it even has a 25 to 32 point rally over a period of, say, three to four sessions, something like this could move and you know where your stop is. But what I was interested in is AU, which is Anglo Gold Ashanti. Uh, look at this. This is a nice move. It goes from the uh, uh, the low 14s and it's trading at 16.93. So it's very specific. Ro Royal Gold is not doing very much. Look at this. Terrible. Look at these. Oh, look at this stuff. But it's making a doji candle right here at 93.83. So I'm just saying that if gold is going to move, you do have some ways to play it, and you can do it in a very conservative way. You can just say to yourself, you know what? I don't have to get carried away. I know the stop. It's forming a base. It's held a base for a little while. And maybe if GLD, 
which is GDX, sorry, is trading at uh, up five cents at 29.84. If there is a sudden pop, that starts to establish a very nice base in the 29s, and then you know exactly where to put your stuff. I just wanted to mention that. I haven't gotten this for subscribers. I'm doing this live now because it is live, and that's what I'm seeing. So I hope that helps you. And stay tuned. You've got Larry Press events. It should be a wonderful show as always. You've got a great program, programming all day. You've got Think or Swim. Then you've got Steve Rose. You've got Dave White. And, of course, you've got Tom O'Brien. Check out my opening calls, my daily newsletter. And I hope to see you same time tomorrow. Hope you can stay. So a uh, question about Boeing. Yeah, Boeing uh, Boeing is, I think, in a sideways move. Got this rectangle formation. I don't see anything here that could keep it uh, elevated, even if it was to rally. It's just stuck in this rain. Well, have a wonderful day. Wow, that was a cheerful show, wasn't it? Have a, have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Remember, as long as you've got cash, you are king right now. Try to build up as much cash as possible. Subscribe to my people. Have a great day.